What's up guys? It's Tia. Welcome back to my channel. And it is officially 2017. We have officially started a new year. 2016 is over. Um, and because of that, obviously, at the beginning of the new year, everybody likes to make New Year's resolutions. Uh, which is awesome. But I have discovered over the last couple years that making New Year's resolutions doesn't necessarily work for me. Every year I always make resolutions and then the end of the year rolls around and I'm thinking back about all of these things that I was planning to do and planning to accomplish and I realized that I had done none of them. But I still want something to motivate me. I know that you can change your life at any time but it just seems like a new year is the perfect time to do it. Uh, so this year I decided to do something a little bit different. Instead of sitting down and writing traditional resolutions like I want to lose weight, I want to go to the gym, I want to save money, I want to quit swearing, I want, you know, in that form. I decided to do it in a little bit more of a fun way and I made a 2017 bucket list. I think that in this format it's going to sit with me better and it's going to motivate me better to do these things because instead of just saying, well I'm going to go to the gym, um, you can't really cross off going to the gym like you have to consistently go and sometimes it's hard to be motivated and go to school and do work and whatever uh, but these bucket list items that I've completed are very easy things for me to do and check off and move on to the next thing so that I can make sure that I am making my 2017 the best that it can be and I am accomplishing these things so I have eight things on my bucket list so if you want to see my 2017 bucket list keep watching Alright, so the way that I am going to tell you these things on my bucket list, I've kind of numbered them um, from 1 to 8, 8 being the thing that I want to accomplish the most. So 1 is something that I want to accomplish, but it's, it's a little bit easier. So they're kind of from easiest to hardest, also from least wanting to accomplish to most wanting to accomplish, if that makes any sense. But anyways, we're going to kick it right off. So the first thing on my 2017 bucket list is simply to make a new friend. Uh, I am a full-time college student and I also work and I do a lot of things and I tend to fall in this rut where I just do everything by myself uh, and I just focus on homework, I focus on my work and I never really leave time for going out and meeting other people and you know like making a new friend, someone that I can just call up and say hey let's hang out let's go to dinner let's go to a movie or something like that so this year my goal is to meet someone and make that connection and make a new friend that I can hang out with on the weekends and stuff so number two on my bucket list is kind of a big thing to accomplish and I don't know if I will accomplish it because it's going to be quite an expensive one uh, but that is to go to 10 concerts I am really really big into going to concerts if you can't tell by the wall of posters behind me I am a very big music fan um, and I just want to make it my goal this year to go to 10 concerts um, this last year I think I went to 12 um, and it was kind of challenging kind of expensive because I have to travel a long ways to go to those concerts because there's not a concert venue anywhere close to me uh, so I cut back a little bit but I want to make it my goal to go to 10. Alright the third thing on my 2017 bucket list is something that I have wanted to do for a while now uh, but I've never really had the time to do it nor the money to do it because it is another one that's going to be quite expensive uh, but I want to visit Los Angeles. I am currently studying communication with an emphasis in media studies, so I'm learning a lot about radio production and TV um, and the entertainment industry in general, and I would really, really love to be a television producer or a radio show producer or something like that. Uh, so Los Angeles is going to be a big place for a lot of those careers and a place that I want to eventually end up, but I have never visited there, so I figure it's probably a good thing for me to visit the place that I want to live before I actually live there so I kind of know what I'm getting myself into so hopefully this year I will be able to save and get some time off of work in school and be able to visit Los Angeles and just have a good time and explore the city all right the next thing on my bucket list is kind of a silly one uh, but it's still something I want to accomplish nonetheless and that is to just meet a celebrity um, I guess technically I have met celebrities in the past because I have met 
a lot of bands through meet and greets at their concerts. Uh, but this one, I want to meet them in a way that I don't have to pay to meet them. Uh, I always hear stories of people just walking down the street or going to the grocery store, or, you know, going wherever it is and they just run into a celebrity and they get to take a picture with them and say hi to them or whatever it is. Uh, so I'm hoping that in 2017 I will have the opportunity to just randomly bump into a celebrity and meet a celebrity. I only live a couple hours from Las Vegas where a lot of people go to stay so maybe I'll have to plan a trip to Las Vegas and hit up the clubs, hit up the strip and see if I can bump into one of my favorite celebrities. Number five on my list is to see a band I've never seen before. I go to concerts quite often, but I have noticed that I find myself going to concerts of the same band over and over again. Um, I keep a detailed list of all of the bands that I've seen, including openers and everything like that. Um, and as I was going through it the other night, I realized that there are a ton of bands that I have seen multiple times. Some of my favorite bands I have found because they were openers for other bands or because I just went to their concert on a whim or I saw them at a festival or something like that and so this year my goal is to go see a band that I have never seen before. Alright, number six on my bucket list is a super important one to me but it's kind of silly um, but here's kind of a backstory behind it. State Champs is my favorite band in the entire world and I have been fortunate enough to see them live six times and I've met them multiple times and I've had VIP for their concerts and stuff like that but as many times as I have gone to their shows I have never been able to get front row and be barricade at a state champ show um, and they are going on their headlining tour this spring and I am for sure going to one show I might be going to two it just kind of depends on my schedule uh, so my goal for this sh uh, for these state champ shows is to be front row for one of them because like I said I've never had the opportunity to so this year I have VIP for the show in Salt Lake City so I'm hoping that I will be able to be front and center right on the barricade for state champs All right, the next thing number seven on my bucket list um, is one that I've been meaning to do for a while now and that is to learn to play the guitar I got a guitar for Christmas in 2015 so it's been over a year now and I have yet to sit down and teach myself how to play it um, or go out and find someone to give me lessons and so I am hoping that 2017 is a year that I have some time to sit down and finally learn how to play it because it's a super nice guitar. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar and I, I have all of the equipment to be able to learn but I just have to find the time to, to go out and find lessons or sit down and teach myself so hopefully I will be able to do that. Alright, so we have come to the last thing on my 2017 bucket list, number eight. This one is a really big one for me that I want to accomplish this year, but I'm still a little bit unsure of whether or not it'll happen, uh, but that is to graduate college. I am currently a junior with my credits at university, but I am on my fourth year of college. I was supposed to be graduating at the end of this semester, but because of some weird mix-ups and I failed some classes and I took a semester off, and I took a bunch of classes that didn't do me any good for my degree. Uh, so I've fallen a little bit behind, but I have been able to catch myself up a little bit. And so I'm hoping that by December, I will have finished my last semester of college here at Southern Utah University. Uh, and it's gonna be a struggle and I have to take a lot of credits to finish this I might have to take some summer school but I'm just ready I'm ready to graduate I'm ready to get out there and start a career and you know have a life somewhere other than in this small town and so hopefully I'll be able to accomplish that all right well that's it we have reached the end of my short 2017 bucket list but these are some really great things that I hope that I can accomplish throughout the year and that I hope I can reach the end of 2017 and look back on the year and have had so many fun adventures and done a lot of fun things and accomplished a lot of really great things. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I will be able to accomplish all of them. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like any of my other videos or you want to see new things that I post, you can go ahead and hit subscribe uh, to be notified whenever I post new videos. 
If you have any of these same items on your 2017 bucket list, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Or you can just tell me what things you want to accomplish this year and what things are on your 2017 bucket list. Uh, but until next time, bye!